Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our preferences in Adobe Illustrator. Um, I'm going to have some documents open, but you guys should not have any documents open. In fact, let's start with a quick key command. Uh, if you don't have any documents open, do Control N on your keyboard. When you do Control N, what does that stand for? New, new document, right? Um, and click OK. Now what I want you to do is control W on your keyboard. What does that do? Say it again. Uh, a little bit further. What, what does control W do specifically? You need, you need a better term. What does control W do? refreshes no when you do control n and you make a new document okay and then you do control w no it doesn't undo control z will undo it closes the document right so that's a key command that's going to be on our next quiz and our next test and that's control w it, for those of you on the mac you may have to do apple w but it's the exact same thing okay so Apple W will close out of the document that you're working on. It will not close out of Illustrator. So what you should not do is click that big red X in the top right hand corner. Don't click that ever. Okay. Until you're done ready to shut down for the day. Instead, if you want to close out of the document that you're currently working on, uh, do control W and that'll close out right there. Okay, so control N will make a new document, control W will close out of the document. And if you made any changes, this message will pop up that asking you if you want to change, or excuse me, if you want to save or not. But it's completely up to you, okay? So I'm just going to click no, because I don't want to save that document. So we just learned two key commands, control N for new and control W, all right? Now, if you have any documents open, what I need for you to do is to close those documents, okay? So go ahead and close those documents that you're working on. Do control W until you get back out to that welcome screen. Control W to close the document if you have one open. If you don't have a document open, you're fine. What we need to do is set up Illustrator's preferences. And in order to set up our preferences correctly, we can't have any documents open. Okay. So to set up our preferences, we need to go to edit. And for those of you on the Mac, I think you just go to illustrator. We need to go to edit preferences. When you go to edit preferences, go over and back all the way up to general. Okay. So you want to go to edit preferences, general. Control K is the key command. You're more than welcome to do that too. Edit preferences general. So the reason we're having to do these preferences are because you guys are using Illustrator now for the first time on your computer. If you were to move to a new computer that, uh, that the person sitting there did not have the preferences set up, you may have to go through this process again. And if you run into this situation, uh, just let me know and I'll run through the preferences with you personally. Okay, so we're just going to go through them as a class so you guys will all be on the same setting. So as a class, we'll all be on the same setting. If you're on the Mac, your screen may look a little different from mine, but just use your intelligence to, uh, to keep up, okay? So, right now we are on the general setting, is that correct? Everybody there? So all you have to do is go through, uh, you can ignore this top section here, but in this bottom section, make your screen look like mine. Check any that are checked and uncheck any that are unchecked. The important one in this section is scale, strokes, and effects. Okay, so everybody good? Your screen looks like mine? Okay, click next. Don't click okay, make sure you're clicking next. Okay, everybody good? Everybody good? Okay, next. This one is the type tab. I think in here you can just change your recent fonts to 15. It doesn't matter, but 
15 is the most, I think. Okay, click next. This is the important one here. Uh, for general, you want to change this to inches. Usually when students have a problem, it's this section here, units, and their units are set to picas or points or something like that, something funky. So just change it to inches and we'll all be good. Okay, next. Guides and grids. Uh, sometimes it'll let you change this. If you can, make it grid line every one inch, subdivision eight. If not, don't even worry about it. Uh, check this box here, grids in back. Okay, good to go? Okay, next. This one isn't as important, but uh, if anything is different, go ahead and change it. Use this pull down here to change your change it to 90 and 45 degree angles. That'll come in handy when we're doing some rotation stuff. Okay, let's do next. We're good here. Hyphenations. We don't need to mess with that. Click next. I think we're good here. Click next. Uh, this just changes the color of your Illustrator windows to light or dark. Whichever you like, you can change that. Uh, but click this button here, auto collapse icon panels. and click next okay this is pretty important and make sure that this section here is correct we want to preserve paths remember we talked about that at the beginning of class paths we want to make sure our paths are preserved oh make sure that this is checked as well update links automatically that's pretty important. Okay, next. Display all blacks is rich black. Yep. We should be good there, right? Okay, next. I think this takes us back to the beginning in general. Okay. So we are done with our preferences. Again, if you move to a new computer or if the software has to be reinstalled, you may need to do this all over again. Just let me know and I'll walk you through it real quick. Um, but it's important that you didn't have any documents open when you did that or your changes would only apply to that one document. We wanted to make these changes to the whole program. Okay. All right, there are going to be times where I ask you to look up at the screen and I'm going to zoom in on things that are very, very important. Okay, so grab um, your eyeball and let's take a look at the screen. Do control N, let's make a new document. This time when you do control N, click cancel on your keyboard. What I want you to do is I want you to get into the habit of using your key commands with your left hand. Anybody left handed? We got one left handed person. Do you use the mouse with your right hand or your left hand? You use it with your right? Okay, then you're good. Anybody else left-handed? You are? Right or left-hand mouse? Right hand? Okay. So get into the habit of keeping your right hand on your mouse. Okay? Use your pinky to hold down control, and then use your index finger to type the letters. Okay? So let's do control N with our pinky and index finger, and hold it right there. Now, when I was in college, before I even knew anything about Illustrator, I started learning the graphic design programs by this um, this girl that used to sit next to me in college. She was um, uh, the graphic designer for our school newspaper. And when she started teaching me stuff on the computer, I noticed that she hardly ever even used her mouse. She was so good on the computer. She used all keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that. 
she didn't even use her mouse a lot so you're so much faster by using keyboard shortcuts uh, the more you work with computers the more you work with especially the, the Adobe suite because all the keyboard shortcuts are pretty much the same you'll be get, you'll become a lot faster on the computer if you use your keyboard shortcuts and I'm gonna tell you the ones that are important that we use in all the programs but at any time you want to use a keyboard shortcut please do so okay if you want to impress me tell me the keyboard shortcuts that I don't know all right so control N will start a new document and take a look up at the screen one of the things that I like about Adobe Illustrator is that you can type in the name for your document right here and today it's all about what shapes so let's type in shapes one of my pet peeves is when I walk around to your computer and your document is called untitled 3 what's the problem with that Say it again. But what's the problem with all your documents called Untitled 1, Untitled 2, Untitled 3? You don't know what they're about. You have no idea what those documents are. That also tells me that you haven't saved at all either. Okay? So instead of saving your documents called Untitled This, Untitled That, just give it a name. Especially if you know what it is. So if you're making a poster for a barbecue, call it Barbecue Poster. Corey's Barbecue Poster. Okay? the next section here is called size ninety percent of the time our size is going to be on letter and by default when you start up illustrator it's going to be on letter Okay. letter is the size of a standard piece of paper take a look it's the size of a standard piece of paper this is letter eight and a half by eleven inches Okay. but that paper has two different orientations Anybody ever been to orientation? Well, here it is, right here. Here's your orientation. There are two types of orientation. Normally, when you, when you write on a piece of paper or you type on a piece of paper, take a look. The orientation is like this, and this is called what? Anybody know? Starts with a P. Portrait. Okay? Great. It starts with a P. It's called portrait. The other orientation is this one. Anybody know this one? Landscape. Okay? So those are the two types of orientation, portrait and landscape. Some people just call it high and wide. All right? But the, the, the specific terms are portrait and landscape. And yes, that will be on the quiz and the test. Portrait and landscape. Because depending on your layout, okay, you can choose either of these type of orientations. If you're doing a flyer and you want to use either of those two, Here's the button right here. Yeah. Um, what if it doesn't say portrait? It says custom and 